Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back to Mary Handy Hands. I'm here to let my grandbaby, she's going to show you how to do some buttery rolls topped with scallions. So she's going to show you the ingredients that she have here. Okay, you want to go, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. 250 grams all-purpose flour, one egg, garlic, scallions, uh, three salted butter, a uh, half a teaspoon of salt, we're gonna have two teaspoons of sugar, uh, lukewarm milk, yeast, and yeah, that's all. Okay, but on, what did you do to your egg here? Uh, I uh, mixed it. You, you, uh, I beaded it. Okay, how much uh, flour was that? 250 grams. Which is how much uh, in cups? Two cups. Great. Okay, so what you gonna do right now? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put two teaspoons, well, one teaspoon and a half right. of yeast right. into half a cup of warm. And half a, inside half a cup of warm milk. I'm actually teaching her how to make uh, a little bit less, a little bit less. But yes. great, that's good. I'm teaching her how to make her own bread so whenever she get old enough, she can do it on her own without someone helping her to do it. And also she can go back and look on the video. Okay. Okay, so you wanna get a spoon, you stir that in. Mm -hmm. Add sugar inside of it? Mm -hmm. Add sugar inside. I'm going to add one of these and I'm going to get one more spoon. Okay, what the sugar is supposed to do? It helps active, activate the yeast. Good job, good job. Okay, you can put a, just a small paper towel over it. Take the spoon out of it. Okay. We're gonna just put a, just a small piece of paper towel on top of it. We're gonna let it sit for a few minutes, like 15, 20 minutes. We will be back so we can activate. Okay, two cups of flour. So she's adding two cups of flour. Uh, this mixture. What the mixture is? Uh, the yeast, sugar, and milk. Okay. It, as you can see, it's risen. And it's activated. Okay. By a lot. Egg. That's the one egg she pouring inside. And always beat your egg. Just whisk it up before you add it. And four tablespoons of butter. Lower it down so you can see it. Yeah. Okay. So that's one half. Stick of butter. I'm gonna add it to the mixture. Good job. Okay. Then I'm just gonna turn it on. Okay. Well, yeah. raise it up. Right. Is it plugged in? Yeah. Start up, always start up on the Okay. hands are clean before doing anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and knead everything. My grandma doesn't like slime, but she likes cooking, like making bread and everything. And honestly, this is exactly like, like uh, playing with slime, so it's not that hard. No way, it's no way there's slime. Slime yeah. is nasty. Same consistency and everything. <laughs> Yeah, they know I hate slime, so this is nothing like slime. Slime is the worst feeling. Ugh. This is the exact same thing. It just gets thicker at, at when you use it. Okay, what you wanna do, you wanna roll it into a ball, just shape it into a ball. Okay, 
because what we're going to do, we're going to do what? We're going to go ahead and proof it now. Okay. So I have my bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and put my, uh, oh, I'm gonna get my non-stick spray so then it doesn't stick. And I'm just gonna spray it around. Good, that's good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my dough and put it inside so then it can proof. I'm gonna go ahead and put my towel on top of it. And I'm gonna let this proof in a warm place. A good place to put it is in your oven, but do not turn it on and just let it sit there for at least an hour and a half. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the butter sauce to, that goes over the bread. This is two to three cloves of garlic, and these are two scallions. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. Okay, that was a bit messy. No, no editing there. Nothing ever happened. I just magically did that. Let's go ahead and put this into the bowl as much as I can. And then we'll put the butter into the bowl. Yeah. Some butter has to be soft. Also four teaspoons, half a, uh, half a stick. Let's go ahead and just put that in there. And then we're gonna mix, and then we're gonna go ahead and mix it. As you can see, now that it's mixed in, it's starting to look a bit it's starting to look much better. And it start, it's now smelling less like a bunch of butter and more like scallions and garlic. Okay, I'm about to uh, see what this looks like. Oh, and it looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and brush my, um, butter onto all these little pieces right here. Just gonna go ahead and 
brush my brush and then just go on each one like so. Okay, and I think that's done. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put it, wait for the oven to uh, um, heat up, at, and it's going to heat up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it inside. Okay, so I just took it out of the oven. It's been in there for 25 minutes, so now I'm going to go ahead and brush it with butter. It looks really good right now. The butter just makes it look a lot more glossy and it makes it look 10 times better than it already is. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and try a piece. Let's do this one. It's really, really good. I recommend this. You should do it. Everybody should do it. It's really good. Hey everyone, I would like to thank you so much for watching and give my grandbaby a big thumbs up. She really tried, this is her first time making bread. She did a wonderful job. Try to open it up style so we can see how it look from the center. Mm -hmm. See how the bread just pull apart. She did a really good job. <laughs>